So a real shift in what we do and why we do it. Collaborating with children central to that approach. So how do we actually share power, get alongside children, see children and their families and communities as an active participant in our interventions in the solution? See the strengths of children and communities as opposed to um, seeing them as the problem that we have expertise to fix, actually getting alongside in, in true partnership. And, and the last piece, diverting from stigma, really challenging us to think about actually does a criminal justice system reinforce trauma, re-traumatise children by them experiencing um, further um, labelling or stigmatising? And actually, how do we really challenge ourselves to say the work we need to be doing is about repairing children's um, identity and sense of self? I think the, the two are absolutely coherent um, with each other. But the ideas behind Child First are, are underpinned by relational strengths-based models. Um, the ideas around building pro-social identity are about helping children recover from trauma. So I, I, I don't have concerns that the, the two approaches aren't compatible. In, in fact, they're one and the same thing. Contemporary evidence base tells us what we need to do is shift how those children think and feel about themselves, shift identity, which in turn shifts behaviour. So uh, a, a really important piece is that we we really push ourselves in youth justice, not to be deficit or risk focused, but much more focused on what's happened to that child for those behaviours to occur. And therefore, what do we need to repair from those experiences if we're going to see a different set of behaviours for that child? So that that's why building pro-social identity is so key. If we are to move children away from offending behaviour, we will see less victims um, and and less risk within our communities. So the impact long term is thriving communities, safe communities. Um, and for individual children, we know this is what's going to help them move away from offending behaviour um, more quickly. Really thinking about one, the conditions of um, the service in terms of culture and leadership and system change. Two, thinking about uh, how do we ensure our practice is evidence based particularly our assessment practice focused on analysis and case formulation rather than narrative and behaviour. And then central to our approach has to be collaborating with children and with communities. Our solutions, our ideas, our innovation, our, our future developments come from partnership with children and families. And I truly believe that's where much of the solutions to the, the challenges we face can, can come from.